with me, nobody else than Rostam Kazimchanov. Thank you for being here, Rostam. My pleasure. You are a coach by heart. You have been training so many significant people. I mean, I don't have to mention Fabiano Caruana to just name one of them. Why do you have uh, such a coaching passion? Or do you even have a coaching passion? Ah, uh, these are very, very complicated questions. Yeah, I don't think there are short answers. Uh, to, to just to, to just give one answer, uh, it's basically all uh, Vishy Anand's fault. Oh, okay. In 2008, uh, he asked me if I could help him for his match against uh, Kramnik. And before this, uh, coaching was definitely not on my radar, not at all. And um, and then with this match and all the work we did and uh, how it went and uh, with how useful I felt, then basically that's how it started. Yeah, later it got much more complicated than this. Hmm. When you are coaching your students, what are your methods for coaching in particular? Can you emphasize on it as good as possible, please? Yeah, no, I actually, I saw, um, I saw your email um, that had the same question in it, yeah? When you contacted me and you said you'd be asking this, yeah? Um, I don't think you'll be getting a very detailed answer <laughs> from me because uh, okay. clearly, clearly part of what we do is also, well, a commercial secret, so to speak, yeah? If I would... Uh, if I would elaborate on everything that I do and how I do it, yeah, everybody else would be able to do it as well, right? So, Good uh, so yeah, I will not go into too much detail. Uh, just, I mean, to give you something, is I believe in the fact that chess is a very broad subject, yeah? So I try to address lots of different areas, yeah? But as I said, yeah, I will not go into specific detail on what I do exactly because I think that... Every coach has his own approach. I definitely have mine. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't like it to be imitated by others. Absolutely fair and totally fine with that. But can you give us uh, the greatest chess advice for every chess player to exceed in their chess skills, please? Well, I think uh, I think it's also very, very mundane, right? A lot of people, they uh, they search for this holy grail. They think there is there is some you know diamond out there. There's just one piece of advice that they need, you know, or one coach, in fact, or one book, one mm -hmm. video series. But it's not like this, right? Chess is uh, is big, as I said. It's very hard work, and essentially, people who work a lot on it they do excel, mm -hmm. and uh, it doesn't come down to like one piece of knowledge. It's just a very broad subject. And uh, also very important, um, um, last year's I deal with this a lot, people should have realistic expectations of what can be done with learning, right? I mean, there is, uh, it's not as straightforward as, you know, a player works on his chess, he gets better, yeah? Other things they get into, into the mix as well, right? If you are, I know, 50 years old and you decide to take up chess, then uh, your limits will be different from somebody who starts at the age of five. Yeah, there are mm -hmm. lots of other things that um, that that are important. Uh, that um, one I think has to be realistic about this. When you would make a tier list, where would you put openings, middle games, and end games, and why? Let's say from strongest to weakest or or the other way around i think it's also it's one of those impossible questions really yeah <laughs> it's like if you would ask a tennis player you know could you could you rate the importance of serving and forehand and backhand it's just an impossible question i mm -hmm. think all of these things are, are are very very vital right you cannot be a good player without knowing your openings you cannot be a good player without being able to play the end games and definitely not without understanding what you do in middle games. Yeah, I think the chess is, that's why it's so big a subject because you need all of these things. When you have, or uh, when you would train a student which is a chess beginner, what would be the best advice for them to train? 
oh, this is easy. I have zero experience with beginners. <laughs> I have zero experience with beginners, and I also don't have experience with, for instance, children. Okay. Oh, okay. And um, whenever uh, you know, I'm asked uh, either to work with children, to work with a child on chess, or to give advice to beginners, I always say that uh, surely people who have experience doing this um, should be doing this, right? I mean, should should give advice on this. Uh, because I just don't know. I mean, I think a stronger player does not automatically make a stronger coach, especially for beginners, because I think that you need very specific approaches, probably. And there are people who are not great players themselves, but who have had a lifetime of experience teaching beginners and being very good at it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had... Um, uh, a great coach myself when I was a kid and I'm pretty sure there are other people who had great coaches when when they were kids yeah and these are the people who, who can give children their love for the game can motivate and so on yeah and I've just done nothing of the kind in my life yeah so I'm really not the person to ask sure when you uh, mentioned that you had a great coach or probably you didn't only have one coach what was one of the best uh, advices uh, your coaches gave to you to uh, get in chess where you went to? I think my uh, uh, my first coach uh, did uh, um, um, he introduced me to to an open way of playing chess mm -hmm. so play chess uh, in a natural way play E4, play the Sicilian play open games, play for the initiative play for the attack and um, I think this is a good way to to teach chess. Mm -hmm. I think the, the 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 beginning should should not be knight f three g three. It should be like open games and uh, uh, and I think this is better. I think you can learn the other or try to learn the other parts of the game later. Uh, but I think it's it's very useful if you start with open games with dynamic positions. I think it's a very uh, kind of juicy way to to learn chess, and for this for this I am grateful. Uh, my later coaches then they kind of introduced other parts mm -hmm. uh, of the game, and I'm not sure how useful that was. Yeah, like when I started playing knight of three g three b three, I never really got into this, and I think maybe it kind of disturbed my uh, my chess development a bit. Uh, so yeah, I think in general uh, this kind of I'm really grateful for this for um, for being introduced to sort of nice open chess in the very beginning hmm. how do you train tactics oh i just solve a lot of exercises online or yes. books or both a lot in general but um, mm -hmm. but mostly online because there are simply some many more online i mean i can find 100 exercises online before i can go find a book on my shelf <laughs> yeah so it's just more convenient uh, but I solve I solve a lot of exercises, and that's how I also stay fit now. Mm -hmm. When I don't really play chess anymore, but every now and then I have to, so it's kind of useful to stay fit. Yeah, yeah, it's like exercise, like going to the gym, kind of. Um, what are your thoughts on online chess, or let's say bullet chess or blitz online? Is it something which you despise, or is it more like well? Go for it. it I can despise is a very strong word, right? Absolutely. Uh, despise is, is a very strong word, but I have zero interest in online chess. Huh. Um, I don't play online tournaments. Uh, uh -huh. I practically never played online tournaments. I also don't follow online tournaments. Okay. Uh, I, I basically, I, I really couldn't care less. Yeah, this is not uh, an area which is interesting to me at all. Okay. Um, when you are playing and training, how often do you use the engine, and what are your uh, yeah? What are your tips if someone is using the engine to get better in chess? Well, I mean, more, mostly everybody uses engines for opening analysis, right? And I'm no exception. And um, I think that almost everyone, by using an engine, learns to do it better. So you learn with the experience. You learn, you know when you should listen to the, your engine and when you should try moves of your own. 
I think basically everybody learns to do this. This is really not the most difficult part of the game to learn to use the engine. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. the engine gives you moves, you look at them. Yeah, it's really not uh, rocket science. Okay, and uh, if so, there's no harm in using the engine because sometimes I hear that it can be misused or sometimes people are a bit too lazy using the engine. You don't think so? Well, I think it is important that you also do things without an engine sometimes. I, it, it, I think it would be really silly if you solve tactical exercises and have an engine running. Yeah, this will not help you, but... Uh, to use the engine to understand some position better, uh, the opening position or sometimes even the middle game position, you know, after you try to understand it yourself or before you try to understand it yourself, I don't think there is any harm in that. I think chess engines can be a very powerful tool. Uh, one last question. If the viewers want to know from Rustam Kazimjanov himself, uh, a really genuinely interesting or good chess advice to improve chess? What would the answer be? Well, I have a bunch of chess products uh, also with <laughs> chess books, right? Yes. Uh, if, you re if you are really interested, spend some money, go buy some products and get some coaching finally, right? <laughs> coaching is good. Check. So you just say like more or less Put the work in, learn, study, do all the things chess has to offer. And if you're doing yeah, this, as I said diligent. in the beginning, mm -hmm. there is no rare diamond which you have to find out there. Yeah, it's just a lot of meticulous work. Yeah? That is the actual advice. There is no diamond which the people are searching for. There's everything and all of the uh, things we mentioned already. Rustam, exactly. Thank you so so much for this. This was a lot of fun. And I hope I Thank see you. you soon in Hamburg. Yeah, see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.